back behind me is one of the many playgrounds in our community. And I know later on this afternoon, there'll be all kinds of families here uh, playing and enjoying. There'll be families headed off to sports practices and the, the dance studio, and um, they'll be headed off to Taekwondo and all kinds of other activities. And those things are good, but I wonder how much they really strengthen families, whether families are closer and more loving and more connected because of those activities. It's one of the things that makes me really excited about our next worship series at St. Paul's Lutheran Church in Aberdeen because in this series we are going to help teach some things that are going to absolutely strengthen families, make them closer and deeper. The worship series is called Holding Your Family Together and that's what the worship series will help do by teaching five simple faith practices, they will strengthen families. The worship series starts on September 21st on Sunday morning at both of the worship services and we're going to teach these faith five practices that could literally help parents be twice the parents that they already are. The series is based on a book by the same title, Holding Your Family Together. And just to give you a little teaser about what we're going to dive deep into in the series, here's Dr. and Pastor Rich Melheim teaching about the Faith Five. Highs and lows. If you only know your kids' highs, you don't know them. If you only know their lows, you don't know them. If they don't know their highs and lows, they don't know them either. This is about active listening and self-awareness. And some amazing things happen when you share your highs and your lows. And you're looking every day to be honest. Something good. There's got to be something good today. And you're honest about what hurts. Read. Now, reading is so important. You, you can't imagine how important reading is for the young, young developing mind. And for the imagination. And for language. And for, for all the things that open. All the doors that open if you have that, that vocabulary with you. You're a poverty of imagination the rest of your life if you're not reading. And if you're not giving that example of reading to your kid. As a Christian parent, I want to give my kids something when they walk away from my grave. I want to give them a heavenly father that they still have. And so I'm not just going to read books. I'm going to make sure in this Faith 5 that God's Word gets brought in. Would you do a verse a night, just a verse a night, to see what God has to say and close your day with the wisdom that's wiser than you? Now, I have to tell you something about my son Joseph when it came to talk. He turned eight and he decided to stop talking to us. Yes. He folded his little eight-year-old arms and he said, my high is my high and my low is my low. Next. And we said, Joseph, if you don't have five minutes for your family, we certainly don't have five minutes for Nintendo and Xbox and television and internet. If you don't have five minutes for your family, we will not have five cents for your car insurance when you turn 16. If you don't have five minutes, and then his sister, Catherine, said something absolutely brilliant. She said, Joseph, open up. Share your pain. Girls think it's sexy. <laughs> there is a deeper level of communication than most of our American families practice. And it has to do with that active listening. This is what you said your high was. You become that advocate for them. This is what you said your low was. You become that, that trusted advocate for them. And then to simply take the high and low and give it to God at the end of the night in prayer which is our next piece. I can teach you to pray in 30 seconds if I can teach you active listening. What was their high? Dear God, thank you for whatever it was. Dear God, help them with whatever it was. And close in Jesus' name if you're a Christian. Amen. That's all you have to do. Close every night with the fifth step and that's to bless. To bless. Don't let a child go to sleep without knowing how blessed they are. It could be as something as easy as I love you, God bless you, good night. It could be that beautiful, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you, be gracious unto you, look upon you with favor and give you peace. You could have that from Numbers 24 put on a wall. It could be something more creative and elaborate that you just make up for your own kid. I made up one that I did in the hallway on the way out. It went something like this. <clears throat> 
I'm so happy to be your pappy. You don't bother to be your father. Flips my lid that you're my kid. I'm elated that we're related. And daddy will always love you no matter what. Mommy will always love you no matter what. Jesus will always love you no matter what. God bless you. Good night. So I really hope you can come out for this worship series as we dive again deeply into each one of these Faith Five practices. And each week we're going to provide you resources for those. We'll also have small groups so you can get together with some other folks and talk about what you're learning and really deepen the Faith Five practices. I know that this series is going to deeply strengthen and bless your family. Again, the series starts on Sunday, September 21st at St. Paul's Lutheran Church in Aberdeen. I really hope to see you then. God bless and take care.